I'm, I'm, I'm coming. She's a mother. No, I'm okay. I know how to get down. You're in the thicket. A visionary. They sit like that oh, and they put another pair of shoes in between. There is a science to this. Oh, okay. And a fighter. I'm being chastised by Dion. She's packing the shoes wrong. Battling extreme poverty on the continent of Africa. Her weapon? Shoes. A million pairs, she hopes. A million pairs of shoes. But I believe that it's going to be way more than a million pairs. Dion Firon founded a nonprofit called the Ashe Foundation. Ashe is Yoruba for the power to make things happen. And that's exactly what she did after seeing this image. That image of the feet wearing pop bottles for sandals kind of struck a chord in me and I said, you know what, I could do something about that. Shoes for Africa was off to a running start with a little star power from R&B recording artist Kenny Lattimore, celebrity stylist Okira Banks, and Antina Campbell, a complete stranger who would become Firon's closest ally. The two met in church after one of Firon's appeals for shoes. She starts talking about the Ashe Foundation and collecting shoes and taking them over to Africa. And all that was like, wow, to me, You're like, I got to help her. I had just wrapped a, a Nickelodeon show, so I had abundance of shoes for kids. And I said, I'm going to go home and I'm going to go through that garage and give her some shoes. I didn't want it to just be, oh, somebody used my name and, you know, I came by, I dropped a little donation in the bucket and kept going. I wanted to really be a part of something that was going to be life-changing. The organization's mission is to change the lives of millions of children in African nations who have been orphaned by the devastating effects caused by HIV and AIDS. Thanks to actor Will Smith, the Ashe Foundation took its first shipment of shoes to Africa in January. Will Smith was in church one Sunday and he heard me begging for shoes and he said, okay, I'll pay for 15 people 15 members of the congregation to go to Africa to deliver these shoes. The experience made Firon even more determined to, as she calls it, beg for shoes for barefoot children. These two showed up for the shoe distribution, sharing one shoe each. My heart is in Africa. It beats in Africa. And, I, I, and for a very, very, very long time, I ran from the responsibility of knowing that I was going to make a difference there. And now she's at it again. This time, it's more than two tons of medical supplies and 10,000 pairs of shoes en route to Ghana. This looks like it's hardly ever been worn. It's never, never been, been worn. worn. Volunteers showed up to pack the shoes. A box like this one holds 70 pairs if packed right and packed tight. So what's the count? 70 <coughs> pairs in this box. The honest is good. On shipping day, a handful of volunteers loaded this 20-foot crate with box after box after box. It's hard work, but it's fueled by purpose and passion. The crate is finally packed to capacity and ready to head to the shipping dock. <sighs> this is a good day. <laughs> she says a prayer that this container makes it to its final destination. In hope that its contents will change lives two feet at a time. Don Lemon, CNN, Atlanta.